Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Jack Daniels Honey Whiskey Cake. To start off, I have a 13 by 9 inch rectangle pan which I've lined with parchment paper and I'm going to fill this with my marble cake batter. I'm going to need two of these 13 by 9 inch rectangle cakes. And I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center of the cake comes out clean. Once the cakes are completely cooled, I remove them from the cake pans and I begin to level off the top. I place my first cake onto a cake board and I drizzle it with simple syrup to keep it moist. Then I fill this layer with my delicious cookies and cream buttercream which is just Italian meringue buttercream with crushed Oreos mixed inside. I generously spread the buttercream throughout the cake and I add the second cake layer on top. Now what I have here is a template, it's a bottle template that I made and the link to download this template will be down below in the description box. And this is going to be my guide to help carve out that bottle shape onto the cake. I place the template onto the cake with just the top sticking out because we're going to place the top from the cake scrap. So I begin to carve using a long serrated knife. Once I've cut out the shape, I'm going to use the scraps and add them onto the end to make that bottle shape. And if they're too big, I'll just carve out the edges just so that it matches the template. Once I'm happy with the shape, I begin to cover the entire cake in regular buttercream. I let it chill and I give it a second coat of buttercream. And then I place that in the fridge to chill again. I've rolled out some white fondant and I'm going to cover the entire cake in this white fondant. I use my hands and a fondant smoother to help smooth the fondant onto the cake. And I use my pizza cutter to trim the excess fondant around the cake. Now I'm using some black fondant that I'm going to roll out into a thick strip and I'm going to use my template to help guide where the cap is on the cake. I also cover that front part of the cap with some more black fondant. I roll out two thin black fondant tubes and I place those onto the cap, one onto the very top and one onto the middle. Now I'm going to add a thin white tube on the very bottom of the cap. Then I'm going to add another white tube about half an inch under that one. Make sure you use your template as a guide. I make some even smaller thin tubes and I'm going to place these lengthwise in between the two white tubes. Using the top part of the template that I cut off, I want to copy these ridges that are right under the cap. I'm going to mark with a brush about where they meet and then I'm going to try to recreate that shape. I roll out a small white fondant ball and then I'm going to roll it out into more of a tube shape but then I flatten it out with my fingers so it looks like a long oval and I'm going to make a lot of these to place and recreate the little ridges on the bottle. I've placed them right under the tube that we made and this is going to create that ridge effect. So I'm just going to keep placing these around the bottom of the tube. And once again, I'm gonna use my template to make sure I got it right. And it looks great. Now it's time to color the entire cake. So I'm using a small bowl and I'm going to use the colors copper, burgundy, yellow and brown and I'm going to mix that with a little bit of vanilla extract to dilute it. You can use clear alcohol and I'm going to mix the colors together to create this really golden honey color to mimic the same color as the whiskey. So once I achieve the color that I wanted, I'm going to paint the entire cake with this color. It's very important that you use vanilla extract or any type of clear alcohol or extract for this because it helps the gel food color dry a lot faster, otherwise your colors will not dry.
Once I'm done with the first coat, I let it dry for about 10 minutes and then I go ahead and add a second coat just to give it more color and depth. Once it was all painted, I was not happy with the cap, so I decided to add a circular shape to the very end to make it look like an actual cap. Here I have the Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Sticker and I printed these on edible paper. This is a three part template and I'm going to leave the exact link to where I found this below in the description box. So what I'm going to do is roll out some white fondant and I'm going to place this edible paper onto the white fondant just so that the paper doesn't go directly onto the cake because otherwise the food color will seep through and ruin and dissolve the wafer paper. So I'm going to add some fondant under it as protection, cut out the shape, and then place it onto the cake. I do the same thing with the two side stickers. I place them onto some fondant and then I place them onto the cake. And last but not least, just to tie everything together, I decided to add two small strips in between the labels. And the giant Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey Cake is complete. It looks like a real bottle. The ridge details that we added to the top really pop and honestly I think is what makes the cake and makes it look like a real bottle. And of course, it wouldn't be a Jack Daniels honey whiskey cake without the Jack Daniels label. So that really finishes off the cake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned next week for another tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.